The fact that IMDb credits Jane Austen as one of the writers of Christmas at Pemberley Manor sits a little uncomfortably with me. It's not a bad film, but it's quite blatant. Obviously, Pemberley, our protagonists are Elizabeth Bennet and William Darcy. I love a Mr. Darcy character, but I always find it very odd when films just try and have as many Pride and Prejudice references in them as possible. Once I got past that fact, I quite enjoyed this film. This was released in 2018, directed by Colin Fays, written, actually written by Rick Garman, and stars Jessica Lounders as Elizabeth Bennet and Michael Rady as William Darcy. And the premise for this one is quite simple and very much what you would expect from a Hallmark film. Elizabeth is a... It feels so weird saying Elizabeth without saying Bennett after it. Elizabeth is an event planner and she is sent to this small village, I think it might be classed as a town actually, to help organise their Christmas festival. But something goes wrong with the venue and she wants to try and persuade the owner of Pemberley, William Darcy, to let them use his property, which is currently up for sale. It's not like she's just asking to invade somebody's front garden. It is up for sale and nobody actually technically lives there, even though he's there to close the sale. But he's reluctant. Will she be able to persuade, persuade him? Will she be able to save the Christmas festival and put on a fantastic festive event? So this is a Hallmark film. I'd say you can expect what you can expect from a Hallmark film. If you're very familiar with these films, you can probably write the rest of the narrative yourself. But that's not a bad thing, because I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed Darcy. I thought the development of his character worked very well. He had a very good backstory. He wasn't just a bit of a Scrooge for no reason. He wasn't just your Byronic figure for no reason. He had certain things from his past and the way in which he was brought up in the relationship with his own father, certain aspects that made him who he is today and that was very well explained and I really appreciated that because it made his actions and his attitudes a lot more believable. Elizabeth Bennet needed to take a step back. She was a little bit too forceful, a little bit too pushy and really just entitled. I find that a lot of Hallmark protagonists who are successful career women often struggle to stay on the line, on the right side of the line that suggests they're confident and determined and then they just cross over and become entitled. She's a little bit too much entitled for my liking. But eventually I warmed to her and you know, I ended up liking her and I liked watching her relationship with Darcy grow. I have to say I love the character of Travis. He's played by Ben Eastus and he is brilliant. He is quite not shy, but lacking in confidence. He he is Darcy's um, assistant, and I just think he's an absolutely brilliant character, and I love him. Steve Larkin is Christopher, absolutely fantastic. Elaine Hendricks is Caroline. Look out for the character of Caroline. I hated her, but I loved to hate her. I thought she was just the right amount of vindictive, without crossing over into being na really nasty, but still being a little bit self-centred. I do think all the characters were were well written. Had this been called Christmas at Festive Manor and the characters were Elizabeth Brown and William Davenport, I genuinely the first names I could think of, it would still be just as good. There was no need whatsoever to write in so much of Pride and Prejudice into this. I never think it's a selling point. I think it's quite lazy and relies. Christmas at Pemberley Manor, definitely give it a go.